that I hope you are doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a good few weeks since I last did a video. Um, obviously, life has changed quite a bit for all of us and I have spent the last three weeks um, sorting out the April boxes to get them shipped out. So if you're new here, if this is new to you, I am Hayley. I run So Hayley Jane, which is a sewing subscription box service. So every month, I cut up all the fabric and I pack up the boxes and I send out a monthly themed box of fabric and haberdashery bits and sewing gifts, which is what today is. I'm going to show you the April boxes. Um, however, things have been obviously a little bit different. I usually um, get the all the fabric cut and the boxes packed up over two or three days with a team of three to four of us all working together. Um, to get it all done um, whilst my little girl, my two-year-old, is in childcare. Obviously, no childcare. Um, and, I mean, usually it's her grandmother's, her, my mum and Andy's mum that look after her. Um, but my mum is a nurse, so she's working and, obviously, grandparents are all isolating and we're not seeing them. Same as everybody else, we are keeping ourselves to ourselves. So I have had to pack up the boxes all on my own around looking after Mia as well because Andy's still working full time um, and it's not easy for him to take any time off to look after Mia. He has um, been great and looked after a couple of times or he's been sat in the lounge while she's been watching movies and I've been in here using um, this bar behind me to cut the fabric and pack the boxes. So thank you to Disney Plus. Conspiracy theory. Not really, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, thank goodness for Disney Plus. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's been full on. And I obviously haven't managed to do any blogging or vlogging or anything like that. Um, and I'm already starting to plan the May boxes. So I've given myself the box boxes got collected by Royal Mail on Tuesday. It is Saturday now, and as far as I know, I've only heard of two boxes that have actually arrived. Um, so, you know, I spoke to the manager of the service that came to collect, and he was, you know, they are doing more than double the amount of work that they do at Christmas with less than half the staff that they have at Christmas. So thank you so much to Royal Mail for keeping us going really appreciate it and hopefully the rest of the boxes will be arriving soon. So I obviously am filming in my kitchen today. It's a cloudy day but I've got um, the garden windows doors here so lots of nat nice natural light and before anyone says oh my goodness your kitchen's so tidy it is not normally this tidy <laughs> so don't panic. Um, the one, sorry I've got my cup of tea here. The one good thing about filming a video in your kitchen is it makes you want to present nicely and make the kitchen look nice and tidy. But what you can't see on the floor, there is a Winnie the Pooh, a Teddy, a doll's pram, a pair of fairy wings, welly boots, and various magnetic letters off the fridge all over the floor. And I'm at the kitchen table, so I've got my sewing stuff here as well. And I've got the camera balanced on my sewing machine. <laughs> So yes, I promise you it is not normally this tidy at all. Um, but I'm really happy that it is currently this tidy. It makes me feel really good when the kitchen's nice and clean and tidy. And uh, you can see just here, me and me did some baking this morning as well. So lots of baking, lots of playing in the garden. Thank goodness we've had, apart from the last few days, we've had gorgeous weather. Um, we've been out in the paddling pool in the garden, so we're really lucky to have a garden. Obviously, I know not everybody is as lucky, and I hope you are all doing really well. Um, I hope you're keeping sane. I hope sewing is helping you. I haven't done any um, blogging or vlogging or anything like that after sending the boxes on Tuesday. I have been sewing. I needed to just not think about work for a few days. Um, because straight away I'm going to be working on the May boxes and trying to get them out in better time. Now that I know what to expect, um, I was a week late with sending the boxes out, also because of the bank holiday, Easter bank holiday. Um, so I, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm proud that I managed to do it all with only a week's delay on my own. I think that's pretty good. Um, 
but yeah, I'm going to try and do better for me. I know everyone has been so supportive. Everyone said, please don't worry. Please don't, um, you know, to look after yourself and make sure you stay safe and everything. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me such lovely, lovely messages. I really appreciate it and I am okay. Anyway, I am here, I shall stop babbling on now, and I'm here to show you what went into the April boxes. So I'm just gonna have a little slurp of my tea in my lovely Soist mug. This came from Rudel's Runique, um, her Etsy shop, I'll link to it below. I love my sewing mugs. I have quite, quite the collection of sewing mugs now, actually. I need more, more sewing mugs. I need to fill my cupboard with sewing mugs. Mm. And I am wearing, this is what I've been working on this week. This is the Helen's Closet York Pinafore. Um, it looks like I've just got straps, but it finishes just here. And I love it. This is a mustard cord that I got from Guthrie and Garni at the Stitch Festival, which feels like a million years ago now. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased I finally finished it. I will show you more another time though, because today is all about unboxing. So... The theme for the boxes this month, I ummed and ahed over this. I had already decided on this theme before we went into lockdown. Um, and I agonised a little bit over it. The theme is adventure is out there. So I didn't want it to come across as insensitive, but more to come across as a little bit of hope, a little bit of you know, adventure will come back. We will be allowed to go out on adventures again soon. And even if not, we can still find adventure, hopefully at home. And I think I mentioned in my introduction, that if nothing else, you can use the fabric to pitch yourself the most beautiful indoor tent in the lounge and watch Disney Plus. <laughs> um, so yeah, find adventure wherever you can. Um, and I hope that this these boxes bring you a little bit of hope and a little bit of joy and a little bit of um, happiness. Happiness is what I'm looking for. So the boxes, which one have I got here? This is the classic box. So I managed to order everything literally just the, the day that Boris Johnson came on to the TV to say, we need to put some serious safety measures in place. Um, and that, you know, if you can work from home, you should. So I managed to get all my orders done, literally just as that happened. Um, unfortunately, the warehouse where I get my fat quarters from did close um, and weren't able to get my order out to me. So there are no fat quarters in these boxes and what a difference it makes. The fat quarters kind of anchor everything in place and they really, the ones that I've chosen, I'm really sad because they really tied the whole thing together. But fear not, I did put something else in the boxes, um, something digital, obviously. There was no way, I didn't have enough time to try and find more fat quarter suppliers or to find fabric to then cut into fat quarters. There was absolutely no way on earth I'd have been able to do that. So um, I found something different, an alternative, not fabric, not fat quarters, but an alternative, and I really hope that you liked it. So let's start with the classic box. So this is how it arrives in the post. And the inside looked like this. So the adventure is out there magazine. I added more to the magazine, I bulked it up. So I got in touch with some of the other lovely sewing businesses that are out there to see if they had anything that they'd like to include in the magazine for free, any um, discounts that they were running, any articles that they'd like to include. So the magazine is a little bit thicker this month um, and it starts with the introduction from me. And then, dun, 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 an interview with Nina Lee, whose pattern is in the luxury box this month. Um, I'll show you that bit in a minute. I did a little article on five free downloadable patterns that you can find. Make of the month comes from Noelia, who made the gorgeous bee blouse using um, December's silver metallic viscose. Where did the bee blouse come from? 
It's a pussy bow blouse. It's a pussy bow blouse um, that came as part of a Simply Sewing magazine free pattern set. So I loved that. Then one fabric two ways. So Gemma and Laura who used the stripy viscose uh, linen for March, um, and they both made shirts out of them. Actually, Laura made where is it? The Olia shirt from um, Paper Theory Patterns. And Gemma made the Mimi G Simplicity 8830 shirt as well. So they look lovely. Then the profile is with Claire, um, who has made some gorgeous things. The Fold Lines pattern picks for the month. Um, my little link, so some of the things that I've been loving, reading, watching, a recipe, things like that. And that's usually where it stops, but then this month, I so I got in touch with the girls from um, My Handmade Wardrobe and Crafty So-and-So, and they put together an article on sewing with stretch fabrics, um, and an advert in the magazine as well, with a link to, they've got a free PDF pattern called the So Simple Tea, um, which you can find on their website, um, and then a couple of um, adverts from the Stitch Sisters who have done a stay home, stay safe, all classes on their Stitch School are either half price or free, so go and check that out. So that's the magazine, a slap of tea before I keel over. Then the alternative thing that I put into the boxes rather than the fat quarters, I obviously, once I found out the fat quarters weren't going to be arriving, had a little cry, had a cup of tea and a chat with my husband about what on earth I was gonna do and I got on the phone to Rachel from the fold line to see if there was anything that we could do together to include in the boxes. And we decided on a PDF pattern. So every box has got this flyer inside and I'm just gonna cover up the code with my finger <laughs> um, because it is obviously only for subscribers. But every um, subscriber can go onto the fold lines website and find this. This is the Cape Cod Caplet pattern from Itch to Stitch. It's a jersey pattern. And it is perfect for the theme because it's great for this time of year if you're going for a walk um, and it's too cold for too cold just to go out in a t-shirt but it's too hot for a coat this is a gorgeous caplet sort of pullover jumper easy to wear super comfy and snuggly and if you're just staying at home it's also so gonna be so cozy as well so everybody can go to um, the link that's here and download the pattern into their basket and then use the code and you get the pattern for free. So that is the alternative to the fat quarters. Obviously it's nothing like fat quarters, um, so I'm sorry. Um, I didn't have enough time to come up with a, a different plan and I'm really quite proud of the plan that I did come up with and I really hope you like it too. Um, every box also has the vitamin thread to match the main fabric and a, a reel of elastic thread for doing things like, um, I never know how to say it, if it's shearing or shearing, where you do the, the like elasticated fabric along like the bodice or something like that. So that is um, elastic thread for that. Um, there's loads of different colors, so every box has got a different color. The sweet treat this month, so I, where my studio is at Base Point in Romsey, there is a bakery there called the Little Bee Bakery, who I have worked with before on the boxes a few months back in the summer. Um, and I got in touch with her to see if she would be able to do something for these boxes just to give them that little extra wow factor and make them a bit more special. So she made, I told her that the theme was Adventure is Out There, what could she do with that? <laughs> and she's made everyone these really super cute biscuits with the balloons, like the balloons in Up, in the Disney Pixar film Up. So they are so tasty as well, really, really delicious. Um, so every box has one of those. So cute, aren't they? Um, and I think she said the cookie cutter that she used was actually a flower cookie cutter, and then she turned it into balloons as well. So that's pretty cool. 
Then in the classic and luxury box this month, I got in touch with Jo from Hello Sunshine, who you may remember if you have been subscribed since November, she did the pyjama party print that was in the November pyjama party boxes. But she also makes really gorgeous enamel pins and she had the cutest collection, like an adventure themed collection. Unfortunately, I've left the spare ones at the studio because I took them all there ready to film and I didn't end up filming. <laughs> so there's a collection of pins and this one is a tent, a little camping tent, but there was also, there was a campfire, there was a one of those like um, green big fir trees, there was a mountain, there was a camper van, there was, what else was there? sure there was something else. <gasps> I'm sure there was. What was it? Is it in here? No. Anyway, really, really cute collection of these little enamel pins, which I absolutely adore. Then the main fabric in the classic and mini boxes is a cotton poplin. I wanted something really bright, really joyful, really happy, colourful and also that kind of matched the theme of outdoors adventure and things like that. So it is this really, really lovely summery um, colour palette cotton poplin with this leaf um, design in pinks and blues and purples and it's really, really sweet. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's going to make some great blouses or pyjamas if you are living in pyjamas at the moment make yourself a nice new pair of pyjamas um so yeah love 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 that and it's really gorgeous quality um so i cannot wait to see what you guys make out of that but yeah i just wanted something so like happy happy colors is what i've gone for um, so that is the classic box. Then the luxury box obviously again comes with the um, free pattern and the magazine. Here is an example of one of the other pins. It's the little tree, which is so cute. I love that. The thread, the elastic, and the pattern that this month comes from, as I said when I was showing you through the magazine, is the Park Lane dress and blouse from Nina Lee and I have to give Nina a huge 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 shout out and thank you for getting these to me because it was a massive mission to get these out um boxes got lost and they haven't arrived yet we haven't quite figured out where they are we will find them and I'll get them sent back to her and she got another batch put together and just got them to me in time. So Nina, thank you so much for working so hard to get these out. I think it was really tough and she did a great job. So yay, this is the pattern. Now the fabric in the boxes isn't um, right for the dress. The dress needs something a bit more floaty, but is great for the blouse. So it is this really gorgeous, buff coloured, that's the name of it, chambray, it's a chambray, um, cotton chambray, and it's got this really lovely leafy design as well, so I will open it up a little bit more so you can see, um, but yeah, it's really, really lovely, and yeah, I love it. I'm thinking, I having made a pinafore, whether to make another York pinafore, or whether to try some dungarees. I have just bought the Heyday dungarees from Made by Jack's Mum um, because it was it was on sale. I mean, it's only six pounds for the PDF anyway, so it's it's a pretty good bargain anyway. Um, so yeah, maybe some dungarees. Having just made the York pinafore, I'm experimenting a bit more with dungarees and dungaree style dresses and things like that because they are just so practical and comfortable for playing with Mia and I love wearing dresses um, but it's just not always practical when you're crawling around on the floor pretending to be tigers and lions and things like that anyway there we have it there are these are the boxes for the month I really hope you've loved this peep inside 
can't get my words out. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm not the only one struggling with that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure when I will be doing another video. Um, we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens and it will be a lovely surprise if a video pops up on your um, feed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love, lots and lots of hugs, virtual hugs. Um, yeah, stay safe everyone. I hope you enjoy some sewing. Happy sewing. Lots of love. Bye.